Um, so, I mean, I think one of the main things is being adaptable to each situation because every situation is different. Every person is so different. So, I mean, mm -hmm. it's trying to put yourself into their shoes, right? Maybe there's something going on in their life that you're not aware of that's making them that way. And having, so for me, it's about building relationships with my colleagues, you know, knowing what's going on outside of their work and seeing if I can take stuff off their plate to make their life a little better and then we go back and forth, right? Like it's, it's understanding the people you're working with. I think that at least in my experience, like I'm always learning, you know, I mean, I'm in like the midpoint of my career, I'd say. So it's always mm -hmm. changing and especially, I mean, the pace of change is so fast nowadays, but, but I mean, that's what's helped me most is like really just trying to do the best I can to put myself in someone else's shoes. Because I think when you do that, you can kind of see why they're having the struggles they're having. And then you can kind of gauge how you're working with them, you know, maybe adjusting your schedule a little bit, or maybe, you know, maybe they're more driven, maybe they like uh, emails versus personal conversations, or maybe mm -hmm. vice versa. Like you got to figure out what works best for them and kind of you know, be adaptable into each situation. So you just said something that I believe in and that I use in, in my class yeah. um, is putting yourself in someone else's shoes and getting to know them. How do you get to know them? These are colleagues. Some people are very private. Some are stay away from me. You're a nice guy, but you know, I just, how do you get in their shoe or how do you get to know them? What's going on in their life? So that's a good question. <laughs> well, know, yeah, it's, it's a challenge, right? Like, especially I will, I'll say, especially for newer associates, you know, you're just learning these people and you're learning about these people, right? Like you've never worked with them. You don't know their, you know, their past, their experiences, really anything about them. And to try to put yourself like out there, I, I work with a lot of actuaries. So mm -hmm. actuaries are very technically and detail driven for the most part. Uh, mm -hmm. Not to say that there's not extroverts too, but, but like, it's usually the more, you know, kind of got to pull it out of them versus interaction in a lot of cases. So, I mean, it's, I try to just be as open-minded as I can in conversations. Not to say that, don't get me wrong, there's times where I'm very oh, blunt and straightforward too. Like there, there's course. definitely moments for that for sure. But, but like trying to just have honest conversations and not, and then something that's helped me with like, I, I manage a lot of projects. And one thing that was very helpful was just giving them the opportunity to speak up first and calling on them. So it's like, hey, you know, I know you're new. What would you like about this project? What, what went well? Like, and because once you, wow. if you do it, you know, the senior person first, then they're intimidated, right? So, I mean, I think doing that has been very beneficial and, and it just opens up different ideas because sometimes you work on one thing for 10 years and you forget that, you know, mm -hmm. we can make this better, we could change it, but you haven't done it in so long, you know, you need a fresh perspective.